Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, it's going to be a fairly quick one and a sort of follow on from where I fitted the 5G Who Are We uh, router into my van so I could get mobile Wi-Fi, but I wanted a 5G router. I didn't at this stage want to purchase one of the 4G routers like the Netgears which come with incredible, incredibly great reviews. I wanted the 5G version, but I'm not spending 750 quid or close to that on getting Wi-Fi, possibly then buying an exterior area as well. No way was I going to spend that sort of money just to get Wi-Fi in my van when I can just simply tether my phone and lose a bar or two. So my workaround was fitting this. Who are we? fitting this who are we router that's aimed at home use it's a 240 volt ac router but this plug here is simply the transformer that takes it from 240 volts to 12 volts into the router all i've done if you watch that video is simply cut the lead okay and i fitted that router into my van directly into my 12 volt system and it works a treat however it's not always 12 volt is it or in fact it's very rarely 12 volt so at the moment i'm on 13.38 volts okay but when i start the engine that voltage will go up to 14 plus volts so i could possibly be damaging the router so my workaround for that is to use one of these step down uh, converters this one's known as a buck converter and it will take anything from 36 volts down to 12 volts so because i've got this linked up to my 12 volt system i need to take it from like you know the 13 and a half 14 volts i need to make sure that this is getting or the router is getting a steady stabilized 12 volts because I don't know how sensitive these routers are, whether over a period of time I may be damaging that router. So I don't want to do that. Now the sake of a few quid, I can't remember what the price of this was. I know I bought a number of these in the past and I've got two of these left which were from my previous Citroen Relay build that I'd done um, a couple of years back. So I'm going to fit one of these. It's a very simple process. I'll show you how it's done, what to do, and it's not rocket science. So let's start fitting it. Right, so let's just dive into my electrical cupboard. Lights on. I never actually tidied the wiring up from when I fitted the actual router because that was only a couple of days ago. So all we're going to do is, first of all, we will pull the fuse so that's now isolated cut the wiring so very simply this is the converter the negative and positive go into these two terminals here from the battery or from the fuse box let's say and then the negative and positive from the router plug um, goes into this side here. So you've got your input and your output. And basically once that's done, it's a very simple process. Once that's done, this should get a steady 12 volts, no matter what voltage is being cranked out to, to the batteries. So we're currently on 13.38. If I start the engine, that will go to over 14 volts. But I want this to get a constant steady stream of 12 volts all the time. So I'm not putting any sort of extra pressure. I, I, I mean, I don't know that it might not be that sensitive, but at least by fitting this in line and they're relatively cheap, I shouldn't have to worry about burning um, my uh, new Wi-Fi system out. 
unfortunately the cables coming from the fuse box are not long enough for me to work on this little bit of work surface so I've got to do what I've got to do here we got to do what we got to do haven't we so anyway so this is the input the positive and negative So I'll take the negative and that should slot straight into there like so oh, this is um, tricky when you're trying to film camera's sort of right in my way trying to do all this palaver and then the positive into this one. So, what I am going to do is just put the fuse back into the uh, fuse box. Okay, so we've got the... Um, the uh, input wires connected now and it's reading 13.3 volts I know that is incorrect because these need calibrating I know it's incorrect because my uh, battery monitor is reading 13.52 but I know that's incorrect because if I put my test meter on the terminals here so into hold on let's put that there we are getting 13.48 so this needs calibrating now to calibrate it you press and hold this output button this red light is on that red light is indicating that it's it's showing you the input voltage so I'm going to press this button and hold it for I think it's two seconds and it should start flashing I can then raise or lower this voltage so that it will be in line with either my Victron battery monitor or this test meter. There we go, so we're flashing away now. Right, so I'm happy with that. That's about 13.45 volts, that is. So it's flashing between 13.4 and 13.5 volts. So we're about correct, so I'm happy with that then you press and hold it again that's now calibrated so that's reading the voltage correctly now what we need to do is connect the output wires to the router and then once I've done that we then need to set the voltage that I want to go from the input through this little module to the output so that will then be 12 volts so I need to just press this button, which is a, a multi-function button. I press it once, and now that's showing that I'm putting out 1.7 volts. And the little LED indicator is now switched over to the output side. So now that we're at the stage where we've got to alter the output voltage, we need a very small screwdriver and there's a little tiny brass screw there which we will turn and as we turn that see the voltage changing so let me move my hand out of the way so we will wind that up to 12 volts There we go. Oh, well, that's very delicate between 12 and 12.1, right? It's so delicate, but I would say 12.1 volts is, is totally acceptable. So that is pretty much that now set. So I'm going to just put the test meter 12.08. Okay, I'm good with that. So we're reading 12.2 on the buck converter 
and 12.08 on the test meter so even if that was accurate deadly accurate at 12.2 i think we're good to go so just quickly what i'm going to do now this is the um uh, plug that goes into the back of the router i'm going to test the voltage on this so of course the inside center is your positive so i put me uh test meter probe in and then the outer part of it is your earth negative and we are reading 12 point 12.08 absolutely bang on so make sure it powers on the lights come on there to indicate that the router is on and working the top LED indicator indicates that you've got 5G and the middle one indicates that you've got 4G as I pointed out in my previous video but they're not illuminated because the SIM card that I've been testing with is is in my phone. So um, what I'm going to do now is because I've got an unlimited data package on my phone, I'm going to use this SIM to go into into that, and I'm going to get a must. Uh, I'm going to get a much lesser package for for my everyday usage. Um, that's it folks, so basically, shall I say, who are we? That's got my who are we uh, 5G router running at a nice steady sort of 12 volts instead of putting a mixture of voltages like 13, 13 and a half, 14 plus. So it's now stabilized at 12 volts or 12.08 volts, close to 12.1. Um, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Anyway, catch you all later guys in the next video. Stay safe.